I had met Ellie and Adar on a previous trip, and they had mentioned that there was a secret valley that held some crazy wave potential. Uh, but to get there in the wintertime, you have to ride snowmobiles across this unpassable fjord and uh, into this valley that's abandoned. Basically, you're out there on your own. Just pulled up to the snowmobiles to get the boys getting them off the trailers, and it's a nice day for a ride. We're like a uh, big wave snow mountaining, I guess. It's so sick. So we packed up all our food for the week, um, camping supplies, cooking supplies, and we're ready to just wait it out. and we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. I had imagined the snowmobiles taking us all the way down to the coast, but because of the hail and sleet, it ended up not being snow all the way down. So this lone farmer in the valley named Thor ended up coming and picking us up in his tractor and taking us the rest of the way. Out here, it's so remote phone didn't work, no cell reception, no Wi-Fi. So we had no idea what was coming our way. We pretty much just had to wake up every day and see what was in store. Se você disser que eu desafino amor Saiba que isto em mim provoca imensa dor Só privilegia Thunder Boy, Thunder Boy over. This is Arctic Fox. We need a reading on location Kilo Alpha 66 North. Over. Arctic Fox, it's a Tundra Boy. Black Sheep, Tundra Boy here. Requested readings from Arctic Fox. Tundra 5, do you read? Black Sheep 7, readings at 7.315, 556, 5, 14366 North. Should be coming in from the north too. It looks strong, approaching. Tundra Boy, Arctic Fox, Black Sheep 7, come in. This is Pop and Daddy here. I'm going to surf you all day. We're together. What are they going to be? It's pumping. So we ended up setting up our tents right down by the beach. Every morning we'd wake up and the lake would just be completely frozen over. My sleeping bag's a little wet. <laughs> is yours? No. Maybe because this is right here, it was maybe dripping right, yeah, dripping it right down. I 
that point, the swell started to fill in too. So you're trying to just get your bones back to, to being warm and being ready to go surf. It could just be in your imagination. You see a little glimpse of it. You know, maybe the tide's not quite right, or the wind, or the swell, and we were basically just in the middle of nowhere. We had lost all hope of anything coming together at all. We had been on the road for about two weeks straight, just kind of looking around every corner. Ganelli's like, hey, I got this one spot I think would be able to hold this wind. The wind was so strong, you could barely stand on the beach without getting blown away. We had no idea this wave existed. We thought we were getting completely skunked. It just feels surreal when it all comes together. out there 
in a place where you don't know what's, you know, the end result, what's going to happen. I just came out of nowhere. We just uh, went down the beach, kind of looking out of the left, and started kind of closing out. And we were like, oh, man. We just saw this right down the beach, and the winds are so hard offshore that everything was just tubing. And we got over there and couldn't even believe it. That was has to be one of the most special sessions of my life for sure. This landscape is just so incredibly powerful. You know, it taps into something in your core. It's on a deeper level. You know, you feel completely humbled and tiny and small. And there's something exciting about that. <laughs>